Greetings internet, welcome back to another vlog. I'm here in my artsy, artsy outfit. I feel like an art teacher in this attire. And it's for good reason because I'm actually going to a ceramics class. I actually don't really know fully what to expect. My friend Mia booked this class, but I'm assuming it is very similar to the class I took in college. I took ceramics in college and we learned the wheel and we learned how to like glaze and fire and all that stuff. And I don't know how many of those things are included in today's class, but all I know is there's going to be clay and I'm excited to get my hands on some clay because it's been a minute. I did, like I just said, take a class in college my freshman year. So it's been like eight years. Oh my God, or more than that. It's been a lot of years since I've done anything like this and I'm so excited to let the creative juices flow and do this. It's gonna be fun. My friends and I, we all decided to do it, six of us, and it's going to be so funny. Like I just already know it's going to be hilarious. Something is bound to go wrong. I just see it now, like a slab of clay hitting a wall and that very well could happen. So we're gonna see how it goes, but I'm very excited. We're going to a place up in Bryant Park um, so it's like a 15 minute subway. I'm gonna leave here in a few minutes, throw my parka on because it is below freezing right now. It is cold out there. Not as windy as it was yesterday. It was very windy yesterday. And all day long you could hear this like violent howl against the windows. It was like really creepy, but today is a little bit better. It's like not so windy. It's just kind of cold. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna step out and I'm wearing this shirt because I actually have a foundation stain on it, like my foundation made a stain and the dry cleaner couldn't get it out. Yeah, it's like over here. So I was like, perfect. This is going to be my new arts and crafts shirt. And I'm just gonna like let myself get it dirty. It's from Free People and I think they still sell it. So I wanted to repurchase and like have one that's like my craft shirt and one that's my real, like I could wear this out in public shirt. But honestly, this has kind of been like an around the house shirt for me anyway. So yeah, I'm wearing this and then just some leggings. And I think I'm gonna wear my Uggs. All right, so I'm gonna get a move on. I want to be right on time and get my apron. Let's go throw some pottery <laughs> or throw some clay, throw some clay, make some pottery. I don't know. This is the vase spot. Chris did great. Vase through. Wow. I have a boss. They have vases. in my vase. <laughs> feeling so grateful for today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp Online Therapy has been such a game changer for me and I'll get into that more, but I just wanna say like what's been on my heart recently, how I've been feeling this winter. I don't know what has been apparent via social media. Like a lot of people are saying I'm glowing recently and I seem so happy and all of these things, but really social media can be deceiving. It is a highlight reel sometimes so i like to you know keep things real and be honest with you guys when i'm feeling certain ways because i feel like it can be relatable and maybe can help some people so this winter i i don't know if it's like the seasonal depression of it all and just the the general feelings you get when it gets to be cold and you don't feel like you're being as social i've just been in a bit of a rut when it comes to creative stuff i've been comparing myself ruthlessly to everyone around me not even just other creators but just like other women and my body i feel like i've been bloated and just not feeling my best and it's taken a toll on me i've started to let it really get to me like for example this is not a proud moment but yesterday i got in like a tiktok doom scrolling hole about all these like weight loss supplements and like different like vitamins and things i can take to like make myself 
look better and it was just it was such a low moment i was like what am i doing like what am i doing so therapy is really great in moments like those where things that your close friends and family and lovers might say to you like that might not resonate as much as a unbiased third party that is here to literally strictly here to listen to you and to offer advice and is licensed to do so like sometimes our friends are just like oh you know get over it or not even in those terms but like might say something and i'm like you just don't get it or you know i don't want to bother you with my problems so therapy is great and better help is awesome i've discussed this before at length but pretty much in a nutshell the reason why i love better help for therapy is how easy it is how it is digital it can be what you want it to be if you want to do video calls you can do that i personally prefer a chat approach where i don't need to be on camera because that adds just an added layer of stress for me it's not something that i like you take a quiz they match you with a therapist you can change at any time if you don't think you're vibing you can change and you can just see where it takes you and see if it's something that works for you and helps your life yeah better help is great <laughs> i just i'm so grateful that they're sponsoring another video of mine and for example one of the things that i am working on doing less of is doom scrolling on the internet and comparing myself because I found that a lot of these social media platforms like TikTok for example I, I don't really ever feel great coming out of a TikTok hole like I don't find that I feel better I feel worse I spiral so limiting my time on those apps even though they're fun at sometimes like I, I like when my friends send me videos and then I'm like okay cool I'll watch that video and I'll log out or if I'm just in a, a particular mood, I know to stay away and to read a book instead or to go for a walk. Walks help me so much, we figured out. So yeah, I just wanted to share what's on my heart. And if you guys wanna check out BetterHelp, definitely give it a shot. I'll have a link down below. You guys can get 10% off your first month of therapy with BetterHelp, so check it out. Anyway guys, just wanted to share that. And now on with the vlog. lady strikes again i'm making my mom's beef stew recipe you guys might remember like how long ago was that now like two months ago my first ever crock pot creation was my mom's beef stew and now i'm feeling so comfortable with the crock pot i feel like a real crock pot lady now like not just a wannabe i'm very proud of myself for getting to the point that i've gotten to with my comfort level in making these things because I was a real doubter in the beginnings. It's been a really fun activity and I'm also learning how to cook more and more each time. Just even like basic knife skills and like how to open things correctly, how to measure things correctly, all of the basics I'm learning through the crock pot. And then over time, I'll get even more skilled with things and you have to start somewhere. Like that's, that's just the thing. People were giving me a hard time in the beginning for not knowing basic things, like how to use a can opener. And it really hurt my feelings at first, but now it's kind of motivated me. You know, the haters make, haters make the best motivators. It has motivated me to really learn and doing it for me, not just because I wanna prove anyone wrong. So I'm grateful for my haters and I'm sorry that I'm not an expert chef at age 28 but i'm getting there i'm learning and i'm feeling really proud of myself and even though it sounds so silly to be like oh i'm so proud of myself for making a crock pot meal i'm not even going to defend myself because that's just it's how i feel and i'm being honest anyway so I'm making a beef stew today and i'm actually going to use more beef this time the first time i did it i didn't use enough beef and i feel like it was a lot of like soup but not as like meaty as I wanted it to be so I'm going to add a bit more 
beef this time. So it might have to cook for a bit longer, but it's only, it's not even noon yet. So I should be good to eat it by like seven or eight, which is great. Um, and I have a lot of like random work to do today. So I'm gonna try to knock this out pretty quickly, the cutting and the preparing and then throw it in there. And I actually, wait, I rearranged this area. I wanna show you guys, you guys might notice my lamp here that Jack put together for me. I put this little lamp here because the lighting can be kind of strange in here. So the lamp makes it really well lit in here. Um, and it's really cute, it's from Target. I'll link it somewhere and then I have my cookbooks and these are some of my ingredients for the beef stew. I have to get the rest of them out of the fridge and then I'm gonna get cracking at chopping and putting everything in there. Yeah, see the lighting is just so much better with this little lamp and I can dim it if I want to. Let me demonstrate the dimming. Like, look at that. Nice, very moody. Or I can go really bright or like really dim. So it's a quality kitchen lamp. Kitchen lamps are all the rage these days, I hear. So anyway, my mom's recipe calls for three potatoes, two Campbell's French onion soup cans, some garlic, four carrots. I only have three out right now. I'm gonna do four carrots. One more little carrot. So I'm gonna do two pounds of chuck meat, beef chuck, all-purpose flour, salt, pepper, and then what else? Paprika, Worcestershire, I never say that, sauce. Yeah, in the meantime, I'm just gonna chop up all my ingredients and plop them in the crock pot. And it's the perfect day for it because it's actually snowing, and today's the first snow of the season, or the first or the largest, actually it's only been like two to three inches, but apparently Jack told me it's like the largest snow we've had in two years. We just like didn't get a very cold winter last year. So it's been a nice little snow day, even though it's like really not that much snow, but snow is snow. Snow is snow at the end of the day. So anyway, all right, let's make this stew. Okay guys, the stew is just about done and it is looking, well it smells so good and it's all fully cooked and the potatoes are actually soft enough this time. I, I don't know, I cut them a little smaller this time. The last time I did this I felt like they were still a little bit hard but I am so excited to eat this. I'm gonna eat it in like about 30 minutes and I'm going to love every single bite of it. Oh my God, I'm gonna have the recipe linked down below. It's my mom's beef stew recipe that she's been making for me since I was like very young. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this soon, go to bed early. We have an early podcast recording in the morning and tomorrow's going to be a productive day. surviving and things are working there is nothing you can do that will turn them off it, like I mean within reason like sending a photo <sighs> okay I'm multitasking right now <laughs> I'm editing the podcast we recorded this morning and I'm also going through I got some newly stuff in my clothing rental and then I got a couple of new dresses for some upcoming events and I want to show you guys what I got. I'm going to put the podcast editing on hold. I'm like editing in such a weird setup right now. I should be sitting at my table, but you got to do what you got to do. Okay, I'm going to show you guys. 
a couple of dresses I got in and you guys have to tell me if you love them or if you hate them. They're both from this brand called Damps and Matter. And I could be saying that wrong. This is a part of their new drop. I actually set an alarm so I wouldn't miss out because they're always sold out in my size. So I got two dresses and I'm gonna try them on for you. So anyway, I'm gonna do that try on in a few moments, but I guess in terms of like what's going on today. So yesterday was a super chill day. It was like really gloomy and I wasn't feeling very energized. Today, I'm feeling all the energy. I've had two cups of coffee. Again, the sun is out and I have a lot of stuff to shoot and a lot of admin work to do. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm dealing with a bit of a stiff neck. I slept funny. I decided to take a couple of days off from working out, which will be good for recovery. So that means more time to work on some things I have to do, which is good because it takes my mind off of it. When I tweak my neck, the worst is when you have nothing to do and you're just like sitting there thinking about it and it hurts more. So I've just been trying to stay busy and take my mind off of it. Yeah, I've been having neck issues and that's just like, it's the worst kind of pain because it's just affects everything you do or you feel it at all times. So anyway, I'm going to try to just focus on work, rest, drink a lot of water and yeah, fuel myself. I'm gonna eat my beef stew for lunch, leftovers for lunch, which I'm excited about. But yeah, okay, let's try on some dresses, continue to take off or take my mind off of the neck and let's try on some dresses. I think I'm also gonna try on a couple of things that I rented from Newly to show you guys. I love renting clothes when I can and Newly is great this time of year, so. How cute is she? Okay, first dress, I like the pattern. It's very festive, but not too Christmas. Like I feel like I could wear this any time of year and it'd be fine. It kind of gives me like Hill House vibes in terms of like the plaid and the, this part, the smocking and just the way that it flows. But it's actually, you can wear it multiple different ways. It's one of those um, versatile numbers. I need to like go on the website and check and see all the ways that they tied it, but they tied it in so many different ways. I think they had it tied like this in one of the photos. I think they had it tied like just in a bow in the back and it was just like a normal strapless. But yeah, I really like it. I feel like it'd be really cute with a lace top underneath. Like I have this white lace undershirt situation that I'd wear underneath this. And it'd be really cute. So yeah, okay. I like this one. The next one I'm a little bit worried about. I had a feeling this one would be easy because it's like smocked like this and usually this kind of fit flatters my body where it's like tight here, loose there. Let's try on dress number two and see if it fits just as well. I have the perfect events coming up for both of these dresses, so I hope they both work. Okay. <laughs> this is just so darling. I feel like this is one of those dresses that isn't for everybody, that's for sure. Like some people will hate it, some people will love it, but it's very feminine and kind of, I feel like, a girl from a past era, like a past century in this little number, in this frock, but I love it. It doesn't have pockets, which I think is kind of a miss, but I like how flowy the skirt is. I love these bows on the front and the gingham. Gingham is always a good idea in my opinion. It's very cute. Okay, dance and matter. I'm keeping both of them. I also feel like this could work for my trip to London in a few months. Like this would be good in London, right? Like, yeah. Okay, we will hang on to her. Now let me try on, I have a dress or two dresses more. Okay. <laughs> we have a red number. It's a little bit wrinkly. I would definitely steam, definitely this top part before I wear it. But look at the bottom. <laughs> Can you even see the bottom? Let me do a different angle. The bottom hem was the selling point for me. This is kind of a strange angle but with like a little heel. Look at the ruffles. Oh my God, it's so cute. Just so feminine and pretty. And the material, it actually has little bows all over it. Very subtle, not too in your face. And I just love this. Like it fits so fabulously. It's from a brand called Dream Sister Jane. And I got another dress from there for a campaign I was doing like a few months ago and I just fell in love. So this, I think I'm gonna wear this. I have something for Valentine's Day that I'm shooting soon. 
So I think I'm going to wear this and that, and then also probably wear this to some other like festivities and things. This is gonna be like a classic gown I have in my closet that I just die over every time because it's just so classy. I love how it's like high neck. You don't have too much boobage, but it follows like the natural silhouette of my body and the A-line of it is just magic. So I love this one. Here it is from the back. Woo, so pretty. Imagine a red lip that matches the dress and little heels and like a cute purse. Oh, I just died. Okay, so this is another one. I know a lot of dresses, but you guys know, if you know me, you know dresses are my thing. And I love having a collection of gowns that I just wear over and over, over the years. And I just hang on to them and wear them and love them. It's just like what makes me so happy. I have one more dress to show you guys, but just to break up the dresses, I got this skirt. It's brand new with the tags on from Free People, but it's rented on Newly and it's velvet. Imagine this with a black turtleneck, black sweater, or maybe like a burgundy. And then I got this one, which is actually, upon looking at it in person, it kind of looks a little summery, um, but I think it could work, again, with like another like black top or turtleneck. It's a tiered black and white skirt. This one is from Farm Rio, but again, rented. Farm Rio is not cheap, so it's good to rent these things. And I just return them when I'm done. So I'll probably wear these in the coming weeks to some things I have going on. And then what else? Look how cute this knit is. This is also rented from Newly. It is a multicolored cardigan. I think it's Free People, yeah. Free People is the brand, but rented. We love it. Good for Zoom calls if I'm like working from home, but I wanna like throw in something with a little pizzazz. And then lastly from Newly, I got this dress. I'm gonna try it on. I hope it fits. I was kind of unsure about the sizing on this one, so I hope it fits, but if it doesn't, alas. Three of the dresses I tried on, I like, so that is positive. <laughs> Even if I don't love something I try on, I just remind myself that we don't all wear the same thing. Not every piece of clothing is going to look fabulous on me, but that doesn't mean I'm not fabulous. I am over the phase of my life that I was in where I was forcing myself to wear things that I just knew didn't make me feel comfortable and cute, you know? Like you, you deserve to feel cute in what you're wearing or whatever you wanna feel, you deserve to feel that. And some clothes, like you just need to, to figure it out through trial and error. And it's not always going to be a knock out of the park sort of outfit. And like through, over time you learn like, oh, these are the silhouettes that I love and that I feel hot and cute and comfortable in. And you just go for those and like, you know, it's different person to person. I think it's okay to admit that I don't love every style of clothing and every trend. Like we don't need to adhere to all these trends. I think that is kind of a problem where there's these new trends that emerge on the internet and we feel like we need to fit ourselves into the mold of being able to make that work for us when sometimes we just don't even like it. <laughs> you know, you don't need to like force yourself to fit into a mold of a trend or something just to be cool. And I know it's like so cliche, like, oh, you don't need to be like everybody else. But I think we forget. I think we genuinely don't even realize that we're doing it. But yeah, I'm just, I'm done with that. I'm done trying to fit into other people's opinions. <sighs> anyway, thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> Let me try on this last dress. Sorry, I've never had a couch where I have to like fluff up the pillows every once in a while, which is, I mean, it's such a blessing to be able to have a fluffy couch, don't get me wrong, but you have to do a little bit of upkeep. You have to like fluff up your pillows every once in a while and make sure that they look okay because it can kind of look kind of saggy. So this dress is from Newly, and it's a little bit, it's giving a little bit Christmas or giving a little bit of Christmas, but I don't mind it. I think that this plaid where it's the red and the green and the blue and the yellow. It's a very classic plaid that I think could be timeless. Definitely skews more winter, but it is still winter. Like there's snow on the ground right now. So I think I can get away with it. And I think I can also wear a long sleeve top under this, like a black 
long sleeve turtleneck or something. The little peplum situation up here is giving nostalgia. <laughs> it's reminding me of like 2012 when all I wore was peplum tops and bubble necklaces and uh, skinny jeans that were like colorful. It has pockets and I think that this normally retails for like $400 so I think actually maybe even more than that. So it's nice to rent it <laughs> because I can wear it as many times as I want and then just send it back. So yeah guys, little try on segment. Success. Uh, I haven't really gone shopping in a minute so this has been good to kind of refresh my wardrobe a little bit. I love a pop of red or color in my wardrobe because I feel like I have a lot of black. So it's nice to spice things up and half of the things I showed you were rented so that makes me feel good. Girl math, or I guess the real girl math was that I bought a bunch of dresses for New Year's Eve and I returned all of them because I found one in my closet that I liked from last year that I'd already had and then I just returned, I returned three things that I bought that I didn't wear, I didn't really want to wear for New Year's Eve and then I was like, oh perfect, girl math, that's returning to my bank account so now I can buy other things, which again, like, you know, it doesn't make sense, but it does to us, you know, if you know, you know. So now where are we? We are in the afternoon, it is Wednesday. I'm gonna end the vlog here because I actually have, I have a plan <laughs> to start capturing another vlog. I wanna get really consistent with my uploads. I am like on a pretty good consistent path, but it is kind of like I get down to the wire with editing and posting. I love editing my own videos and I feel like I will always edit my own videos and not outsource to an editor. No shame to anyone that does that, but I just like, I love editing, it's my favorite thing. So I think I'm going to end this vlog and then start the next one. So I'm just like ahead of schedule. Not too ahead to the point where it's not current. I'll never be like that. But I have my own process. I have a process that I need to follow in order for me to be consistent without stressing myself out, without burnout. I'm always just trying to chase whatever version of myself that I can be without burnout. <laughs> you know, like I'm just, yeah. Which, is it is it possible? Anyway guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and commenting and liking and subscribing and all of the things. I really appreciate you. And I will talk to you next Monday in my next vlog. Bye.